Lifeboats from three stations braved heavy seas to search for the missing man. The storm had blown up quickly, surprising the anglers who'd set out just after dawn. The sea then had been deceptively calm, but the wind direction changed with the incoming tide. Two RAF helicopters took part in the search along a 20-mile stretch of coast and were joined by another helicopter which normally ferries men to the offshore gas rigs. Marine rescue services, police and coast guard helped coordinate the operation from the promenade. The Blackpool lifeboat crew, which picked the men from the sea, said they'd not been wearing life jackets. It had been a difficult rescue in atrocious conditions. I bought recovered the gentlemen who were floating out of the first boat and Phil took the gentleman out of the other boat. What sort of condition was he in? The one we recovered here was, uh, he weren't in a good condition. I've not heard now since, since. we tried, uh, he since died. Yeah. We tried our special respiration, but, you know, we left it at that. The, the lad, Phil, picked up out of the boat, so OK. Yeah, we, right. took, we took one off just as his boat was about to swamp. And he threw his anchor out. We went alongside, took him off, and uh, I think his boat's down there now. It, it did eventually take on water and go down. It's fairly rough out there. Uh, gusts up to uh, 50 miles an hour in a heavy sea, so it uh, wouldn't be very pleasant in the water now. Would you say it was foolhardy to have gone out in the first place? We should have watched. Uh, we should have watched the forecast. Did the forecast give it coming north, northwest? But uh, not to come as fast as that. They might have thought they might, might have got themselves home. Coast guards, who'd been alerted by a flare from one of the boats, had earlier warned of a storm, but the severity of it took them by surprise too. As the tide receded, one of the small fishing boats could be seen aground on the sand. The other was towed ashore. Both were waterlogged and extensively damaged. Neither was suited to riding out a heavy storm. Right now the wind's blowing at force nine, and although the storm came up quickly, it was forecast. Coast guards say if the fishermen had rung them up for a weather report, they would have told them most strongly not to go out.